If you notice in ClickFunnel pages, sometimes you click on an image or you click on a button, then it goes to a certain portion, certain section of the page, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can do it, how you just using ClickFunnels uh, scroll to a certain section, right? So let's go, let's go to my computer. So right, what do you mean by scroll to a certain section? Uh, for example, this is a landing page that I always use for my example. You go all the way down, you see the word download now. When you click on it, you go back up to the section where people can fill out their name and their email address. So this is what you mean by scrolling back up. So how this can be done? First of all, you go to the panel itself. I just Let me just go edit. It is very easy to be done with buttons. Let me just show you how. For example, this button, you can have a look. When you click on it, it's the, I set the action here, edit action which is to go to the scroll to a certain section or row on the page. So you can choose which section and row that you want to scroll to, right? For example, this one, I scroll to top. So that's why you can set it here, right? So button is very easy. For example, uh, let me just duplicate this, right? So this, I just change the color so that we all can see the difference. Let me just change the color. Okay. So I want this when you click it here, you go to my testimonial page, for example, right? So you just, all you have to do is just go here, settings, Go to set actions, right? Go to find find your testimonial. Where is it at? Right? So it is the first second. So where is this name? So this is the CSS info, so you can know the name of it. It's just section, so it's fine. Uh, or you want to just put something so that you can remember where is it? Testimonial, for example. So just update. Uh, so this is all, all for, for your naming convention to make it easy. Right, so scroll down, just put Go to here, set actions, then you find for section testimony. Can you see here? Just click on it. Alright? And that's how easy when you when you open up, then you can click on this and you straight go to the testimony section. Now what if I wanted to use an image itself, right? So you might have your own custom buttons. Let's just add an image, right? Add an image. Then we just add something. Just go to image and find any image that you want. For example, you like this tick tick button, right? Click on this. Just, just an example, right? So every time you click on the image, you go all the way up to the testimonial part. So remember just now, um, I went and get the CSS info here, right? The CSS ID selector, copy this container 46692. So I, I, I think I might go a bit too fast. Let me just slow down a little bit. You just go to settings. Then you see this hashtag. That is where you get the CSS info. This is actually the, I, the unique name of this whole section because you might have different name title which is similar but this is very unique uh, you cannot have another yeah so this is a special unique identifier so you go to here click on the settings then you can see here right link url so you just have to put the container name here right then click save well, let me just preview to you how you look like click on preview so this is my page again so you can click on download now. I mean this this button, which is actually testimonial. Then you go to my testimonial area, right? Or you want to click on the button, you go to testimonial area. So uh, this this is a bit more smooth. So this is a little bit different because it's like opening up new page, right? And, and that's, that's the only difference. So yeah, so this is how easily you can go from one, when you click one button, you go to another section, right? So this is how you can do it in ClickFunnels. Yep, that's how you can configure scroll to section in ClickFunnels. So if you like what I share, do give me a thumbs up, give me a like, and if you have not subscribed to this channel, hi, my name is Ken, I talk about digital marketing and entrepreneurship. So if you're interested in these kind of topics, do subscribe to this channel, turn on notification bell, and so that you don't miss any of my future videos. I also have something for you as well, do check the description box below, and if you're interested, click on it, and get the free checklist. And with that, thank you very much for watching this video, and i see you in my next video. Goodbye!